Hello lovely people. My name's Pam and welcome back to my YouTube channel of quick six minute lessons for the PTE academic. Today you're going to learn the sixth question type of the 21 question types in the PTE. But first, I was wondering, do you ever watch videos at faster than normal speed? YouTube says that a lot of people watch videos at 1.5 times normal speed these days. So you're welcome to control my speed like this too if you want. Just go to settings and change the playback speed. If you want to slow me down so the English is easier to catch, you can watch me at 0.5 speed. But if you want to speed me up so you can get to the key techniques faster, watch me at 1.5 times the speed. Whatever works for you. I try to flash words up on the screen so you can still understand even if you are speed watching. I know you guys are busy. That's why I keep my lessons short. Anyway, let's get to today's lesson. Lesson number six in our PTE series, PTE Answer Short Questions. Now, the sixth PTE question type is called Answer Short Questions. There are about 10 to 12 of these questions per test, and for each one, PTE will ask you a short question. Then you must say your answer into your mic in just one word, sometimes one phrase. And that's the last time you'll speak in the PTE test. After short questions, you move on to other skills. Now, I have good news and bad news about this question type. The good news is, if you have a large vocabulary, it's really easy. The bad news is, if you have a small vocabulary, it's really, really hard. This is not a question type where you can fake what you don't know. In the end, you just know the vocabulary or you don't. And if you don't, zero points. But luckily, I do still have techniques to help. So let's go. Okay, let's take on these short questions in two steps. One, the question, and two, the answer. So, to understand the questions, there are two things you can do. First, learn set question phrases. And second, learn typical native speaker pronunciations of those phrases. So what do I mean by set question phrases? I mean phrases like this. What do you call a X? What do you call is a question phrase, or how many X in a Y? It's another question phrase. Now, PTE short questions repeat the same question phrases. They have to. They are asking you for a name or a number. So if you memorize that kind of question pattern, you can understand what they are asking. It also helps to learn native speaker style pronunciation of those set question patterns. At least learn this one. What do you call a? Now, many fluent English speakers run T and D together, so it will sound like what do you call a? And many other fluent English speakers with different accents drop the T, so it sounds like what do you call a? Now, PTE uses a range of accents, so you need to know both. Now, let's look at techniques for your answer. Again, two points. One, learn the language of numbers, and two, say your first thought. So for point one, learn the language of numbers, and by this I mean words like centimeter, or century, or even things like triangle and square, words that express the concept of a number. So remember, these questions need an exact answer, so they often ask questions about numbers. Now, about saying your first thought, when you're actually in the test center and you need to answer the question, please say your first thought because you only have 10 seconds to answer. Now, most of the time, you will know the question or you won't. But thinking won't help you. And if you think too long, you might lose your time to answer. Okay. So let's look at some example questions. These are from the PTE Academic Question Bank, which is one of Pearson's official test preparation materials. Okay, so question one. 
How many years are there in a century? Did you catch that? Here it is. So it's a really typical PTE short question, yeah? There's a typical question pattern. How many are in a? Now, you knew that pattern, so your brain was ready to focus on the new words years and century. So did you answer 100? Yeah, 100 years in a century. Well done, one point. Now, question two. What do you call a geometric shape with five sides? Did you catch it? Another typical PTE short question, okay? They use the typical pattern of what do you call and they pronounced it what do you call, typical. So do you know the answer? Well, these are geometric shapes, square, circle, yeah? Do you know the name of this one, one with five sides? No? It's a pentagon. So, like I said, you need to study the language of numbers. Okay, question three. What piece of equipment does a doctor use to listen to your heart? Hmm, now this is typical of a more difficult short question. So the answer is stethoscope. But that is something you would just either know or not, right? The only way you would get a good score on a question like this is long-term vocabulary study. But if you do know the answer, remember just say it. Say your first thought. Don't spend that 10 seconds thinking, is it stethoscope or telescope or periscope or... Ah, my 10 seconds is gone. Okay, don't do that. Just say your first thought. So, just remember, to answer short questions in the PTE, attack the questions like this. Learn set question phrases. Learn pronunciation of set question phrases. And then, face the answers like this. Learn the language of numbers. And say your first thought. If you enjoyed today's lesson, please click to subscribe. It helps us grow so we can help you more. And also, remember to do your self-study. This question type is proof that yes, techniques do help, but if you don't know the words, you still won't get the score you need. So build your vocabulary, but not just your vocabulary. Remember how I said you need to learn how different English speakers pronounce things? That's hard to study on your own. So if you want help, please consider my programs. You can learn a lot of English and techniques for tests like PTE and IELTS. It's useful for getting visas, business, and even high grades at university. But it's only 20 minutes of study a day, includes live lessons and a student community. So you talk and practice with friends. Easy and fun, right? Check neo-english.com. There's a seven-day free trial to understand our program. Try it. And if you want me to support you one-to-one, -one, we offer a private tutoring package too. So in those programs, we include practical lessons for decoding how native speakers pronounce things and a lot of academic vocabulary. That would help you with this question and many other situations too. Anyway, don't forget to check out this YouTube channel next week, our first writing lesson, Techniques for PTE Summarize Written Text Questions. I look forward to seeing you then.